गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल लीव क्लासेज आई एम एंचली चिल्ड्रन एज यूर एग्जाम्स आर राउंड द कॉर्नर एंड आई नो ऑल ऑफ यू आर प्रैक्टिसिंग वेरी नाइसली फॉर ऑल द सब्जेक्ट्स एंड फॉर कंप्यूटर आई नो यू आर टेकिंग द हेल्प ऑफ आर चैनल एंड डूइंग द प्रोग्राम्स विच आई एम गिविंग यू इन दिस सीरीज एंड टूडे आई हैव टेकन पार्ट टू फॉर आर मार्क्स इनहेंसर सीरीज ऑफ सेक्शन बी and the topic which i have taken today is string arrays yes children you have string arrays in your syllabus apart from the arrays the arrays question i gave you in part 1 of this series and today i am giving you the questions for string arrays children one humble request to all of you that those who know the solution of the programs which i will be giving in this i want a little help from them so that others children also get the benefit please do write the solution in the comment section i'll be writing the comment as question 1 question 2 question 3 and all those who know please uh, write the solution so children i hope you are going to help me right children and like this you are also doing your practice and the, and others will definitely take the benefit from this so we start with our first question programs using linear search technique to search for an entered string in the given string array children for string arrays you have only linear search technique only linear search binary search is not there in your syllabus for string arrays right for arrays it is there but for string arrays it is not there now linear search linear search means in a line which start from the zeroth index number till last index number that is size minus 1 right so suppose you want to check for the string lucknow whether it is present in this given string or not so what you you will be doing so you will be extracting element by element and doing the searching using compare to or equals function children it's my request to all of you please use compare to or equals function for string comparison right children before we move on i just want to share something that is very important for you children as your exams are round the corner and all of you are busy in preparing in practicing in doing the test for the upcoming exams and at the same time an academy yes all of you are familiar with this name one of the leading educational online platform this is also ready this is also working hard for your preparation so that you score very good in your exams right and for that an academy has launched its emerge mock test series and this is specially designed for icsc and iisc children and i am here just to inform you about this because i know on my channel each and every child is a hard working child and who want to come out with the flying colors right so now all of you can also practice more and improve your exam score with emerge mock test and definitely you can win up to 100% scholarships in this and this series is from 16th to 19th april your mock test series right so don't forget to use my code leaf this is the code using which you can enroll for this emerge mock test for free the link to emerge mock test is given in the description box please do check that and don't forget to tell me your score after you appear for the exam in the comment section i'll be waiting for that all the best children now the second question which you must practice is to display the elements starting with a particular letter suppose i give the character value as k and i want that the elements which are starting with letter k should be displayed from the given string array like again it is a type of linear search only where you are extracting element by element and checking the first character of this and if that character is the character which is matching with the letter or character then you are printing that suppose in this case the output should be kanpur and kolkata right 
So if this is the sample array and we want to print the elements which are starting with letter K, then Kanpur and Kolkata will be the answer. Children in string arrays, mainly you should know how to store the elements, how to extract element by element and then do the comparison. Now in this you may use character functions, you may use uh, string functions according to the question which is asked in, right? So we move on to the next question. Program to display the elements having odd or even number of characters. Right children? Suppose here, this is the array here. Mumbai is of 6 letters. Pune is of 4. Kanpur is of 6. Delhi is of 6. Lucknow is of 7. Goa is of 3. Like this. So you have to display the strings which have odd or even number of characters. Right? So, what you will be doing in this, you will be extracting the element by element, counting the length using length function, right? Suppose this is your array and you are extracting element by element according to the index number and then checking the length, right? So, you will be giving like this si dot length and then you will be doing if L modulus 2 equals to 0, which takes that as even, right? So, here you will be displaying SI in that case. Otherwise, you will not display. So, this entire thing will be within the for loop. Children, please practice these type of programs. Similarly, if it is asked for odd length, then you will be giving if L modulus 2 is not equals to 0 or equals to 1. Like this, you will be doing the question, right? Children, please, please, it's my request. Please try all these programs. Very, very important. And definitely one question of 10 marks will be there from this topic in your exams, right, children? The fourth question is input 10 city names. Display only those names which begin with the consonant but end with a vowel. So children, what you have to do, you will be extracting element by element, finding the first character that is the character at 0th index number and the character at the last index number of that particular city name and then if this condition is true, that if the first letter is consonant and the last letter is vowel, then you display that otherwise just move to the next. Now children here most of the questions are based on linear search technique only. What we are doing here? Extracting the strings from the 0th index number till last index number and checking according to the question, right? What is asked in the question according to that we are doing, right children? We move on to the next question. Store 10 different country names and their capitals in two single dimensional arrays. Here, two arrays are there and you have to display the country names and their capital in the given format. That means first column will be for country name and the second column will be for capital name, right? Suppose this is your array first here, you have stored the country names in 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 like this up to 9, right? Similarly, one more we can take for uh, your capital names, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, children, when you are entering here, how you will be doing the entry? Say it is for country and this is for capital. Now, how you will be doing? When you are entering within the loop, the loop will go from 0 to 9, right? Because you have to store total 10 country names. So, in CU0, the country name will be there. In CAP0, capital name will be there. Then, one, one index number will be for the same country and its capital. Then, two index number will represent the country and its capital. So, when you are displaying it here, if you see so much of space is there. So, for doing that, you will be using backslash T. Backslash T gives the tab character in between, right children? 
so these are going to be very simple programs if you will practice it thoroughly practice is required right children and next we have define a class marks to declare two arrays of size n to store the names of the students and percentage marks accept the name and display the percentage marks of this student right so na is the array name where the names are stored and marks is the array name where the percentage is stored so 0 0 1 1 2 2 like this it is there so if na 0 uv is stored then marks 0 65 65 is the percentage of uv if 1 is having the value tanya then 89.5 is the value is the percentage marks of tanya now children one thing is important you have to observe you have to understand the question properly say here if the first value in marks you take it is integer value but if we say the second one then points the values are given in points right so you have to use your common sense which value what will be the data type names definitely are going to be of string array so here two arrays will be used one of string type and one of double type because here the values are stored in points also so after storing the values in array na and marks you have to input the name of the student whose percentage marks you want to display so suppose you give the name as yash right so again here since binary search is not there and this is definitely not the sorted array so what we have to do we will be starting the comparison starting from the 0th index number till we don't get so once you get that suppose you are getting this as index number 4 so you will be printing the value of marks 4 so wherever the matching record is found for the given name you will print the corresponding marks of that index number only right children i hope it is clear and it is going to be very easy right we move on to the next question program to input names and marks of 50 students in english subject the maximum marks in the subject are 100 now you have to calculate and display the subject average marks Subject average marks that means again here we have two arrays name and marks. Subject average marks means when you are entering uh, the marks in marks array that time only you can add this to a variable called sum. And after completion of the entry loop you can find the average. Average will be total sum divided by 50 right because total count of the children is 50. Then highest marks in the subject and the name of that child, right? Suppose if we see here name is Ivan, the highest marks are there for this particular child. So what you have to do in the beginning till we don't know what is the highest marks like you have done in arrays, you store the value of the 0th index number as the highest also lowest also. Here it is highest. So what we will be doing, we will be storing the value of marks 0 as the highest marks and then we will take the loop from first index number till size minus 1, right? And every time you will compare if the next marks are more than the value of H, you Replace the value of H and store the corresponding name of that index number in one variable. Say when you have stored marks 0, I can store uh, NAM equals to NA of 0. And whenever we are changing this, this has to be changed. Same like you have done in arrays question. Children, I know all of you are going to do it very properly. Please. So, children, if you will understand the programs which I have given you here, definitely you are going to 
do the question correctly any question which is asked on string arrays because once the concept is clear you will not find any problem anywhere right children so my best wishes are with each one of you for the practice for the preparation for today this much only if you haven't subscribed the channel till now please do subscribe and press the bell icon so that you get the notifications for all the videos and no important topic is missed by you you may join us on our telegram channel also the link is there in the description box keep practicing keep working hard keep solving string arrays questions god bless you children